girl, this wig, this wig. I feel and I look so beautiful. What's the tea, everybody? This is your girl, your big ass BBW girl. Oh, oh my God, get up in this hair, honey. Get up in this wig, get up in this fantasy. Oh, oh my God. First of all, oh. it's November. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so excited that we're finally done with all these creatures and monsters and ghouls, honey. I am so over it. I am so like, oh, I am so done with Halloween, you guys. Oh. I cannot stress to you guys enough how done I am with Halloween. It just felt like too much. It felt like everybody was trying to do the most and it just felt like too long, honey. Everybody started doing crazy Halloween looks since October 1st, girl. And I'm just like, I'm over it, honey. I'm done. I'm ready for some stuffing, honey. I want some turkey. I want some elote, honey. Mashed potatoes, honey, loaded potato, fully loaded potato, apple pie. Ooh, what else? Are, tamales. Tamales. I'm from a Mexican household, honey. I'm a Mexican kind of girl. I love when my mom they make the tamales, menudo. What else do my family do? Every family is so different. Let me know in the comments. What is your family be doing for Thanksgiving, honey? Tamales. Okay. So what are we doing today, honey? Mm. Aside from giving you glamour, femininity, darling, giving you the energy of the vagina, a fully platypus vagina up in the get, girl. Just, ah. Ooh, sniff. Ooh, it smells like vagina, honey. It smells like vagina in this household, honey, okay? I am giving you woman. I decided today, I was like, let me get all up in my cross-dresser gig, honey, transvestite realness, man in a wig realness, because I haven't done it in a while, and why am I all of a sudden just giving you this feminine voice? And for some reason, my voice is going through the gigs and she's not trying to comply, girl. Comply, bitch, comply. Oh, there she goes. Hold on, there she goes. Um, uh, hi. Mm, hi, my name is Mimi. I am a BBW girl, you know, living in a lonely world. She's looking for love in a hopeless place. And if you happen to see my ad, give me a call or send me a text or, you know, shoot me a kick. Whatever apps the kids be doing these days, honey, contact me. I'm looking for love, okay? I'm looking for real love. I'm tired of these men, okay? I'm tired of these men using my body. I'm tired of these men disrespecting me. Talk about they want to date me. They want to take me out to the movies, honey. They want to go to dinner. They want to make me feel like they're going to get me pregnant, honey. Girl, you know what? The trade, girl, when the trade gets rolled up in the fantasy, honey, and they got it going, girl, they tell you they're going to get you pregnant, girl. And they be telling you you're going to be the baby mama, honey. And I'm over here like, baby, I need you to stop. I need you to stop lying to me. Because where are these kids? Okay? You've been trying to get me pregnant. Where are these kids, honey? All I know is where are these children at? I am 31 years old. I should have a little daycare by now. And I want to know is where are these kids? I've been trying and trying and I can't get pregnant. What's going on? I need to call somebody. I need a paternity test. All I want to know, honey, is where is my pregnancy? Okay? Call the police. Call the FBI, honey. Call the UFOs. You know what? That's the real conspiracy, bitch. Okay? Where's my pregnancy at? At the end of the day, I need this trait to stop lying to me, honey, because he keeps telling me he gonna get me pregnant, and where is the pregnancy? That's what I... <laughs> What are we doing today? Oh my god, you guys, this is your girl. And the reason why I'm giving you cross dresser fantasy today, actually, the reason why I wanted to do cross oh, don't clock my nails. Don't clock. Oh, big. Oh, everybody's gonna be clocking my nails. Don't come for me in the comments. Don't be talking about I'm wearing no nails, honey. And if you're not doing nails, you're not cross dressing, honey. Right now, can't nobody tell me I'm not biological, psychological. Okay? At the end of the day, she might not be biological, but she is psychological. And let me tell you something. You know what? The reason why we're here today is because we're here to review Miss Fame Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> girl, this video's a hot mess already, honey. A couple minutes in and luscious, like always, girl. She gotta turn into a hot mess. We are here to review Miss Fame Beauty. Now, the reason why I keep talking about being a little cross-dresser woman, honey, a little man in a wig, honey, not bother. She put on a little woman's clothing, honey, is because I actually bonded with Miss Fame. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna kill me about talking about this. I actually bonded with Miss Fame over our love of cross-dressing. I always talk about how I'm a cross-dresser, honey, and I'm not bothered and I'm not ashamed of it either, okay? I feel the most attractive and I feel the most powerful and I feel the most in the zone, honey, out of zone when I'm wearing a wig and I have a little makeup on. You know what I mean? I get off topic, I be doing the most. Let's get into the review of Miss Fame Beauty, her brand new palette, her new collection that just dropped. Oh, oh, let's get into it. 
Oh my god, so we're gonna review the Miss. Oh, I always be doing the most. I can't keep myself quiet for a second, girls. Miss Fame Beauty under my skin. First of all, the packaging is so stunning. I was talking to Miss Fame, you know, because she knows that I be doing crazy makeup. I be doing hard makeup. I do drag. I do this. I do that. And she did tell me, she's like, girl, she's like, I want you to play with this palette. Give it a chance. It doesn't have a lot of mattes. It's mostly more shimmers and soft and pretty shadows. And I was like, you know what? I'm not lying. I told her this. And I said, girl, first of all, I do want to say that I get more and more excited about drag queens, drag artists who continue to release their own makeup collections. And I'm always going to be here for it. If you're a fierce drag queen and you know what you're talking about and you know how to do makeup and you're bringing a new voice to the beauty community that is needed, then I will support you. And I feel like Miss Fame is a voice that we need in the beauty community. And look at Miss Fame. Honey, she is a sickening makeup artist. She's extremely talented. It makes sense for her to be dropping a beauty line. It's not just like everybody or every drag queen needs to be dropping a beauty line because let's be honest honey there's a lot of drag queens out there who they're busted okay let's just call it what it is honey there's a lot of drag queens out there who are busted honey and they don't have any business teaching anybody how to do makeup and then <laughs> And they don't have any business having a beauty line, girl, because their makeup is busted. But then there are a lot of sickening drag queens like Miss Fame, Kim Chi, Trixie Mattel, who they are sickening at doing their makeup and they do something different in makeup and they know. Let me tell you, us drag queens, the ones who can paint, honey, I'm talking about the ones who can paint. <laughs> Let's keep it real. We know how to work magic with some makeup, honey. This is the Under My Skin palette. Get up in this gig, girl. Let me, let me zoom that in real quick. Get up in this gig, get up in this palette. This is something very unique. It is definitely something very different. It's unlike, don't clock my nails, don't come for my nails, honey. Don't come for my manly nails, honey. And I feel like there's nothing out there right now in the beauty, at least that I've seen. We're at the point in the beauty community that so many things are dropping that a lot of things is like, how many different color combos can you give us? How many pink shadows do I need? How many black shadows do I need? It starts to get repetitive and you start seeing the same thing over and over and over and over. That's kind of one of the problems with the beauty community right now. We keep getting palettes after palette after palette so it, it just starts to get really repetitive and we start to see a lot of the same things over and over just like scrambled together in a different way I need somebody to bring me palettes that I'm not seeing every day I need somebody to bring me something different I do feel like sometimes it can get a little repetitive and I like this palette this is not repetitive. I haven't seen this. I think it's a little fresh, honey. It has a little fresh smell to it, honey. Which arm is the one that I shaved? This one. I shaved this arm. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys some swatches. So we're gonna start right here. This color right here. Can y'all see it? There it is. Like a light gold. It's like a shimmery, goldy kind of shadow. It's called Auragasm in the shade Aura. Oh, I like that. It's got like some yellow and purple. Can y'all see that? Yellowy, purple, violet reflex in it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm gonna swatch the dark shade that she has right here. This is another shimmer, and this is called Norgasm. Oh, hello. Hello, this is Norgasm. This is the darkest shade. This is technically, it's like her black. Oh, honey, look at that little buttery feel, honey. Get up in that fantasy. That looks cute. I'm gonna move on. We're gonna move on. Ooh, this orangey color is kind of fabulous. Oh, you can kind of see it right there. It is full orange. And this is in the shade orangey. Okay, come on, orangey. And let's put it right here. Oh. Look at these shades. Oh my God, they're so buttery. You know what? When I feel butter, baby, let me tell you something. When I feel butter, that to me is a really good sign. Butter girl, if your eyeshadows, when you touch them and when you rub them on your face, if they feel like butter, they, to me that says the shadow is concentrated. The shadow is gonna have pigment. The shadow is better quality than those chalky shadows. You know, sometimes you begin these shadows that are so chalky and they don't stay on and they get patchy. When you get that buttery feel, that buttery texture, Honey, there's gonna be pigmentation, let me tell you. Ooh, this is a cute name. Taupe, taupe, taupe-tation. Taupe-tation, honey. We're gonna move on to taupe-tation, this little gay shadow right here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and swatch taupe-tation. Okay. Ooh, that is pretty. Oh, 
y'all see it y'all see it? i'm trying to get y'all to see what this lighting oh that is a beautiful little taupe fantasy and i don't know if you guys can see this on camera but it's got like a little bit of like almost it's like a bluish like a little bluish iridescence to it it does have a little bit of glitter i love this color combo it's so different it's almost like a little bizarre and i kind of live for that we have skin intimacy it's this little like brownish color right here butter honey okay when you get that butter feel honey that's it oh 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 <laughs> Oh my god, look at that. Baby, look at that shadow. Look at th that's I'm sorry, but that's pigmented. Baby, I'm sorry. Do you see the pigmentation? These shadows got pigment, mama. I don't care what anybody got to say, honey. All I see here is I got pigment, honey. And the pigment's in the pudding because you can see it on the shadow. You can see it on the swatch. The little gay swatch heard around the world. Come to me, mama. Come to me. You want the real swatch? The only swatch. I'm the only one who gives you the real gay swatch, honey. I'm the only swatch you can trust on you. YouTube, the greatest swatch you've ever seen. You see right here, my little gay hand, honey, okay? If you ain't getting swatched by the cross-dresser girl, honey, you're practically not getting swatched at all. Let me tell you, come to me for the little gay swatch. Let's move on to the little green fantasy right here. This is called Wanderlust. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch. To the children over there trying to clock the tea, get this tea, honey. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, do you see that? Oh, honey, this is practically an ad, honey. This is an ad for the entire, you want shadows, baby? Come and get your little shadow fantasy. Miss Fame, I'm excited about this palette, honey. Look at these shimmer, these beautiful eyeshadows. Even though they have some shimmer in it, they're still pigmented, and that is something that I was really afraid of. I'm not gonna lie, when Fame told me, honey, she said, girl, try the shadows, give the palette a chance. I know that you see shimmers and you think, oh my God, what am I gonna do with this? But look at these colors. There's pigment here, you guys. These are actually very beautifully pigmented shimmer shadows. You can create some beautiful, oh. Let's go ahead and move on and we're gonna do Blue Foria, which is this blue over here, honey. We got the Blue Foria Fantasy. Oh my God, I can see the butter. Baby, you see the butter? <gasps> look at the way that shines. Look at that swatch. So we're gonna swatch Blue Foria right here. It's Miss Fame Beauty. Oh, oh my God, look at that eyeshadow. Look at that beautiful eyeshadow. Okay, the proof is in the pudding, honey. The proof is in the pudding. I ain't got to lie, Craig. Craig, you ain't got to lie. Come to me for the little gay swatch. <laughs> I'm gonna give you one last shadow. Uh, we're almost done here. Let's do astral. Emphasis on the ass. We're gonna do astral play right here. This is like, I don't know how to explain this color. It's like a dark purpley gold kind of color. It has a little bit of like a goldy kind of shine to it. These are colors that are unique. These are colors that you don't see out in the wild. When's the last time you saw a color like this? At least I don't think I've seen a color like this in a while. Let me go ahead and give you the little gay swatch heard around the world. Oh, you see? <gasps> Look at that. That's really pretty. That's like a deep purple. You see how this is different? There's new things being done here, and I love that. People are stepping out of the box. People are stepping out of the comfort zone. They're not giving you the traditional nude. How many browns, baby? Can somebody tell me? Okay, in the beauty community, how many browns do we need, honey? How many nudes do we need? How many coppers do we need? Like, it's just, it feels very repetitive. It feels like we continue to get the same story over and over and i like when there's artists who take a risk and they do something different this is the miss fame beauty under my skin palette look at this beautiful packaging i'm getting my entire gay homosexual life am i gonna shade or shine it i'm gonna shine it honey because i really think it's something that is unique and something that's beautiful let me show you these glitters what i love about this is it also came with glitters well as you guys know i am the glitter queen honey let me tell you the tea what's the tea with this glitter oh Oh, look at that beautiful green glitter girl is that green oh my god this is like an iridescent from green to blue glitter oh girl oh that is beautiful oh oh You did me proud. Oh, look at that glitter. I hadn't even seen it. You guys know that I love me some glitter, honey. So I'm excited for this little glitter fantasy moment. This was the glitter in the shade Force of Nature. This is the shade Earth Shattering. I'm gonna put some right here. This also looks green. And I'm very excited to see how this is gonna turn out, honey. You see, this is what I like. This is exciting. This is a different kind of product. 
that's not really being seen out there in the market right now. And I'm excited for that. Th this is why we need new voices. We need voices that are not afraid to take a, <gasps> oh, look at that gold. And it looks green. It looks green when you turn it around, but it's gold. Look at that beautiful shade. This is in the shade Earth Shattering. Look at these glitters, girl. You can put this on the lip. You can put this on your eyes, you can put this on the lid. This is why we need these voices and we need more diversity and beauty because when you add a different voice, you add a different perspective, you add a little something different. You get something different, girl. And that's what we need right now because the beauty community is so saturated by the same browns, nudes, and coppers over and over, honey. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this color over here, this little gold color. Oh, I can already tell this is gonna be my favorite out of all of them. I am already obsessed. This is from Miss Fame Beauty. I love that she's dropping these unique unique original glitters. Oh my God, that is gonna look so beautiful on the, ooh, look at that. That is gonna look so beautiful on so many different skin types. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put some right here, girl. Hold on, where's she at? Get up in that fantasy, mm-hmm. How about that, get up in that fa Oh, this is the beauty of glitter, honey. You can just pop it on any, wherever you can find it. Oh, look at that, oh, get up in that cheek. Okay, I need to fix, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, hold on, I need to fix, the other cheek's getting jealous, honey, I need to fix her too. Hello, oh, I am obsessed. I like that Miss Fame is coming out with something that I feel is very risky, and I feel like it's very out of left field, and I'm not mad at that, I actually kind of love that because it shows me that there are still people out here in the beauty community willing to try to innovate who are willing to take a risk and and you know what baby keep going honey keep fighting your voice needs to be heard miss fame give us your perspective on beauty and that's what i really love about miss fame's collection girl i forgot to tell you hold on that was the glitter in the shade tantric yes honey i'm living for miss tantric tantric was absolutely my favorite oh hold on let me fix this wig honey let me fix this wig I really love this collection. Miss Fame, you did a sickening job. Shade or shine it. I'm clearly, I'm gonna shine it, honey. I'm sorry. I'm really living for it. I'm living for the different voice, a different perspective. Your packaging is stunning. Yes, ma'am. Yes, God. Feel your fantasy. <laughs> if you guys like this review, please let me know down in the comments. If you guys are not already following me, please head on over to my Instagram, honey, and give me a little follow so you can keep up with me throughout the day. Follow me on Twitter, honey. Tweet, 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 honey, this BBW. Before I go, you guys know that I always tell you that, you know what, baby, sometimes life is hard and life can get a little rough and life can throw some curve balls at you and you can go through some gigs. You have to hang in there and you have to keep it together and you have to remember. Remember what you're made out of, honey. Remember what you're capable of. Remember who you are. Baby, this ain't the first time you've fallen, honey. Get yourself back up. You can do it. I believe in you. There's a reason why you're here. There's a purpose for you. Don't give up. If you fall down, get back up and fight. Get ready for war, okay? If you're going through the gigs, just remember, don't let the gigs go through you. Thank you so much for watching my video. I love you guys. Bye. This is a big woman. She uses 3X Plus. I only wear flats. You know what? I feel like the girls who wear flats, they get a bad rap and everybody wants to call us lazy and everybody wants to talk about how, oh, well, that's not fair, that's not fair. You know what? If you want to be wearing a nine inch heel, honey, because you want to feel your fantasy, because you want to look good and you want to feel good, well, guess what, honey? Some girls, they just need a flat and they still look good and they still feel good. And you better believe that my little legs, honey, they thank me for it because I'm not putting them through the pain and the trauma, girl, the physical trauma of supporting up my weight, honey, because I don't think she could do it. So let me tell you something. You stay over there with your little nine inch heel, honey, and I'm over here staying with my flat not bothered, okay? I'm over here with my little flat shoes, honey, not bothered. Run and tell that, run and tell everybody. I'm your BBW girl and I'm here to normalize, okay? I'm here to normalize the flat. Press the number two in the comments if you like to wear your little flats and you don't want to be judged for it. I am here to represent for all the girls who wear flats, honey. It's okay. At the end of the day, we're still sickening and we wear low flats, honey, because some of us are not bothered, honey. Honey, I'm here to normalize the flats, girl. You know what? If you wear a flat to me, you're sickening, honey. The girls who wear the flats, <laughs> Here we go, kill me for this. The girls who wear the flats, they're more sickening than the girls who wear the heels, honey. How about that? Run and tell that, Edie. <laughs>